What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Watson. Back with another video for you guys. The worst thing I freaking hate, just to get this out the way, is when I record a video and it just don't work. But that, that's not what we're talking about. As you guys can see by the title, you guys can wait for this video, how to be a pull-up and transition grade machine. Now, there are different players you can do it with. I can personally do it with any player that has a good three ball rating because this year, three ball rating is not more so much about, yo, moving shot threes. Now, if you play 2K19 to 2K20, I'm looking for my controller as I'm talking to this. Okay, there we go. As we, if you play 2K19 compared to 2K20, they did have a moving three point rating in 2K19 compared to this year. I'm gonna show you, I wish I could show you 2K19 side, I don't have the content to do it, but it's okay. Just know that they had it. Moving shot threes and regular threes shooting straight up and down. This year, they took the moving shot three out the game. And we're just going to get into the game so I can show you guys some stats on what I'm talking about. Now, this year, it's just a move. It's just three point. That's it. It's called three point shot. So what you'll do, of course, like looking at the ratings. This is my team right here. I look at Kobe. Kobe was the first person I shot pull up threes with. And this Kobe to kick it off, to be honest. I was taking a lot of pull up threes with Wally Zerbiak. Ruby, um, who else? Nick Young, Sapphire, Ruby Clay Thompson, until Amethyst Kobe dropped, and that just changed the game for me after that. So looking at the three-point rating, it's an 89. Meaning that 89 three-point shot, that means his three ball, that means his moving shot three is an 89. There's no there's no separating the differences between the two. I get that question a lot in my Twitch, but there you go, that's the answer. There's no separating those two. Meaning that any person that has a high three-point rating, you can take a pull-up three, you can create it on a consistent basis. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can by saying how to do it. The only difference is you have Xbox and PS4. The latency is different between both the consoles. I play both consoles so I know the differences of the latencies. Now, the one thing is you wanna do is I'll say take yourself into freestyle. A lot of people say, do you practice pull up threes? I really don't practice pull up threes in freestyle, but I'm telling you guys this is how you can get better at it. Um, I really just take my shots in game. That's how I really start practicing. Just do it in game. If I miss, I miss do it the next time and complete it hit a grand until I'm consistent on it but if you want to do real tr real training and real practice you do go to freestyle and you take these shots so I'm just going to show you out the gate what I do I'll go to the half court line you know what I'm saying hot you can turn on the hot zone just to see where you at you can take a pull up three out the gate just run up the court you know what I'm saying just shoot no shots but what I'll do is I'll go half court line I like doing it from the pass kick the pass taking the shot until I hit it now the one thing is um for my purpose the reason why I like having a point guard with Hall of Fame Dimer is for this specific reason. After every rebound, after every rebound, I pass to my point guard and kick it up the court ASAP. So what you want to do is there are like two different different animations when it comes to the pull up three transitions that you want to recognize. So that one right there was like he's moving to the right. He's moving to the right and he's taking that three ball like that. You see how he twisted his body a little bit. Now the another one is going straight up and down. When he, you see how he, that's that's pretty much how he goes straight up and down like he'll change his body and go up that's just how his pull up is different players will have different type of pull up jumpers that's a straight up and down three ball pull up right there now we're going to try one going to the left now you see how he side steps to the left so you see how when you go to the right he twists his body to the right when you go straight up and down he goes straight up and down shooting it straight forward and when he goes to the left he takes a little gather hop step twists his body to the left but still shoots that shot and you're able to green that now nine times out of ten each different person, each different player, I should say, has two to three different type of transition pull-ups because of their jumper. So that's AK's jumper. Now I'm gonna show you magics. Now I know you guys are like, why are you showing me magic? Because like I told you before, if you got a three ball, I can do it, right? So with magic, I have to get some space because magic takes a gather step. He takes a wide gather step. You gotta pass it early to magic and it's quick. See how magic's pull-up jumper is quick. So at the end of the day, and that was late for that purpose reason, that's a money, boom right there that's his that's his pull up straight up and down now let's try going to the right now you see how his is a little bit different you know he goes or he gathers to the right but he goes up so we're gonna try it again as I'm gonna that balls in the way right pick it up oh, here we go just keep taking them to your green when you keep taking them to your green bro that's how you that's how you get better simple green simple boom so we hit that one now let's do it going to the left Okay, now you see how he takes that little gather step. Do it till you green. I'm shooting deep ones too. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I'm going to shoot them deep ones. I'm going to get it green. Trust me. That, this is how you get better. Simple as that. Green. Simple as that. You just want to find out until you green. When you green, 
keep going consistently. When you do it more, you do it better. So that's Maddox Jumper. Jumper. Now let's try, let's try the famous Kobe, infamous Kobe. You guys always like seeing me shoot with Kobe, right? And the next video what I'm gonna post is pretty much gonna be what are the best players that I like having on my wings to take those pull up and transition threes as well. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys some uh, shots with Kobe. And at the end of the day, like I said, I like having certain specific players on my wings to take the pull up threes because of specific reasons of my player feel. So you see Kobe's jumper is pretty quick. I'm gonna try to go to the right first. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go to the right first, it's a white. We don't, we don't stop until we green. There we go, we're gonna stop until we green. Now let's go to the middle. There we go, we don't stop until we green. Let's take it to the left. Simple. You will start to realize there are three transitional pull-up animations that you can trigger within the game. Each player has a different jumper due to their, my bad. Each player has a different animation due to their jumper. So you want to find out the jumpers and see how the animations can trigger that. But the next video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the best pull-up transition three players to have on your wings. Like I said, I can shoot with anybody from the big man to the point guard. It's just, I like taking my pull-up jumpers a lot with the wings. And I like to play chess with people. When I, when I mean by I say play chess is, people are gonna start noticing I take a lot of pull-up threes with the wings. So that's when I hit them with the, taking a pull-up three with a power forward or take a pull-up three with the center because they're not expecting it. So at the end of the day, I want you guys to, A, appreciate you guys tuning into the videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to take these pull-up jumpers, how to time them, how to get right, how for you to get better within the game itself. And the next video is going to be what are the best players to have on your wings to take these pull-up transition threes. This is your boy RJ. Hit the subscribe button if you're doing a lace crew. Hit the like button and share it up as well. Look, I want you guys to be as good as possible when coming into these 2K Unlimited games. Like I said before, if you guys seen the previous video, the previous video told you to pretty much shoot the ball when you're open, shoot the ball even if you're open on the wings going to the rim. Don't go to the rim that much because at the end of the day, you're bringing the defense to you to contest your layup or dunk. Take the open shot. If you're open, take the open pulley, take the open shot. You got the better results. That's how you get crazy. That's how you get really good at the game itself. This is RJ, about to sign off for the next video. You guys on the vibes, hit that like button.